G'day guys, Organic Raw Bill here once more. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, at our last house, we were moving from an acreage to a suburban property. So we've now moved and we're living on that suburban property. So I brought a lot of um, plants with us from the last place. Some seedlings. We pulled out of the garden and some dragon fruits, they'll be lovely. Now mint, some of the stuff was already in pots. Uh, black sapote, chocolate pudding fruit tree. So we've got some fruit trees, seedlings and stuff like that. Strawberries, herb robert, this stuff's all called herb robert, very medicinal. I think I talked about that in the last video. Um, pineapple, so basically, all this garden is already here. It's all ornamental, none of it's really edible. Um, so what I'm just gonna do is put our edible stuff in amongst it, but I'm not gonna plant anything because we're only renting here. So I'm gonna start a little garden in the bathtub here. So I bought these bathtubs from the last place. Uh, put another one over here. So I'm not gonna do that one today, but I'm gonna do this one and fill that up with some soil. First, I'm gonna start with some drainage gravel. I've got some holes punched in here from a, a previous garden that I had. I still found that it didn't drain well enough, so I'm gonna put some drainage gravel in the bottom. Got some, some really fairly coarse gravel there. It's got a little bit of water in there because it's been raining in recent times. So there we go, we've got a bit of a, a layer of gravel in the bottom. Smooth it out a bit. And then what I'm going to do is put some of this mesh over the top of that. This came out of our last house. I'll have to get some more of it. Is a, a fly screen. So I'll stick that in. Fold it over a little bit. In the corners, make it fit the bathtub shape. And then what I'm going to do is put some of this compost on top of it. So this compost is a mixture of some well-rotted compost from our last place and some not so well broken down compost that came out of our compost bin. And there's also a lot of, of drier stuff in there that's a lot of roots and stuff which should break down in the soil. So lots of sprouts in there. There's absolutely hundreds and hundreds of worms in here. So I'm going to just stick that in there and that's going to be the base of the garden. So it's fairly shady here now but it is late in the afternoon so the sun's up there. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. It is winter, so normally the sun's coming up in that direction and doing a trajectory over there in winter. In summer it should be a bit more overhead, but there's still a fair bit of sunlight that does get on this area during the day, so it should be a nice little veggie patch for some greens or some tomatoes or something. Fairly simple, fairly basic, easily grown. I'll do something similar with the other bathtub. So what I've bought here is some um, organic lucerne mulch. I found the lucerne to be the best type of mulch to use uh, as it adds lots of nitrogen and other nutrients to the soil. The only other mainstream mulch that people tend to use around here 
is sugarcane mulch because we are in a, a large, or we're surrounded by a lot of large sugar cane producing areas. So sugarcane mulch is pretty common around here, but the lucerne is growing out, out west a little bit, an hour or so away, and um, it's, it's a little bit better, I think, than the sugarcane mulch. Usually a bit more expensive, and not so commonly found, but it is better for the garden, I feel. And mulch is obviously quite important. So I'll put a nice thick layer on. It's also going to give it a nice earthy smell. Cover up any composty smells. It just helps to keep the soil nice and moist. Keeps the sun off it. So um, I'm just going to let this settle a couple of days and probably get the other bathtub set up before I start planting some seedlings. So there you go guys. There you have an easy little garden in 10 minutes. All I've got to do now, poke a few little holes, whack a few little seeds in there and start growing whatever I want to grow. Put some water on it. Bob's your uncle. You've got a garden. Easy peasy. So I've got the first bathtub done there, and the second one, I've got the gravel in the bottom, and I've got some shade cloth here instead of the fly screen. I just had some old shade cloth laying around, so I thought I would use that rather than go out and buy some more fly screen. Better to use what you've already got than to buy new stuff. Okay, so I've cut the shade cloth to size, suit the bath, and now I'm I'm going to fill it up with some nice compost and then put a nice layer of mulch over the top of it just like I did with the other one. And getting this compost out of the old place was quite time consuming. But it's not the first time I've moved house and moved compost. People think I'm a bit weird that I take my compost with me but because I've created the compost over years with food scraps and everything, there's sort of a weird sentimental value attached to it in my eyes. I'm a bit weird like that. Am I alone? Am I the only one who has sentimental feelings for compost? I hope not. So when most Aussies put bathtubs in their yard, they tend to fill them full of ice and beer. Well, that might have been me in the past, but not these days. Good old garden, some fresh veggies. Much better than a hangover, I reckon. It looks comfy enough to sleep on, doesn't it, really? That looks awesome. Two garden beds ready to go. Lovely. Alright, what? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to clean up now and put some of this other compost into some buckets and store it somewhere else. I hope I've inspired you to do something similar in your own garden where you've got very little space. It's pretty easy. It took me about 20 minutes all up to do all that. Go out, plant your own garden, grow your own healthy food and enjoy. I'll see you later. Goodbye.